Hey guys, so as you may have heard by now, I'm going to be releasing the SlideCal Toolkit very soon. If you want to know what that is, just hit the info button on the top right corner or the link in the description. This video is going to show you a sample of the video guide that comes with the SlideCal Toolkit. I picked one slide out of the toolkit, discussed its components, and showed you an example of how you can make your edits for that one slide. Remember, this is just a sample for one slide. I do the same thing for each and every slide in the SlideCal Toolkit and some to make sure you're fully covered. Anyway, on with the sample, enjoy. So let's go on to slide 21, which is another dotted map over here, except it's not tilted, you know, it's more of a 2D effect, which is completely fine. Um, so I happen to like this map a lot because it's very stylish in that it's very minimalist, you know, it, it, has, it has what you need where you need it. What you need to know about this slide is that you're covering a specific area. So this yellow circle represents this area. It doesn't necessarily represent the country, right? This blue circle represents this area or these group of countries or this country or, or, or this pink one, you know, this pink area represents that area of Australia or, or something like that, right? It's up to you how you want to use it, right? So um, let's discuss the components. We have a dotted map over here, uh, which is uh, very editable. And I'll show you that in the example coming up. We have circles right over here with transparencies set to 50%. So it allows us to sort of move the circle anywhere that we want, right? We also have, as you can see, lines attaching to the circle. And this is the same for all of them, right? We have uh, three straight lines over here. And we also have an elbow connector over here, just in case you wanted to have a variety between the two. And uh, we also have some text as always, you know, align to the left or right, depending on the uh, positioning of the text itself. All right, so what are the examples we can play around with? Well, let's see. Let's say I just wanna cover two areas instead of one. So I'm just gonna be covering this yellow one over here. I don't need this blue one. Actually, let's just make a duplicate of the slide before we do anything. So I don't need this blue one and I don't need this red one. And then I'm saying, hold on. I think the pink one has to cover a lot more all the way there yeah and uh, I think the yellow one has to cover you know just smaller area but right over here in that case I can just move this all the way down here and just you know move it just like that and I can keep that one where it is perhaps I can just you know highlight everything and group it bring it up like this and perhaps I can even bring it into the middle like that to show that there's more white space around the slide which is very effective right um, let's also say I'm not too happy with the dots aha aha see if you want to change the shape of this circle you actually can believe it or not all you have to do is head over to format head over to edit shape change shape and change it to any shape that you'd like not even kidding not even joking. Um, you can, for example, change it to hearts. Boom, everything's a heart. You can, for example, change it to lightning bolts. Boom, everything's a lightning bolt. You can, for example, change it to a block instead of a dot. The possibilities are endless. It's whatever you want it to be. And that's what makes this map fantastic.